Dr. Keller here. I want to share with you the site that I use to look up medications, including over-the-counter drugs like ibuprofen or Advil or Motrin or, I don't know, uh, naproxen maybe that is what it's called in other countries. Um, so right from the beginning, I'm on the professional monograph. So just know that this will be less wordy if you just choose the not the not the pro edition. Okay. But look, black box warning, ibuprofen, which is over the counter, mind you, Cardiovas cardiovascular risk, sometimes fatal. Okay. Throwing a blood clot. Very important that we pay attention to people that have risks for these already as is. They smoke, they're on estrogen birth control, um, they get migraines. These are all things that increase the risk of cardiovascular events. Now, GI risks, this is what I, I see more often because I work with people that have chronic heartburn. This is what happened to me. I was probably taking like a thousand milligrams of ibuprofen every single day for a while there because I have a chronic pain issue. Um, so GI risk of sometimes fatal GI events, specifically bleeding and ulceration, perforation, which means a hole in the stomach or small intestines. And we do not want a hole in our small intestines or our stomach. I promise you that. That is not good. So and elderly folks, geriatric individuals are at most risk for this because as we age, we become more frail. So if you maintain um, your health, like, you know, I know someone who's 80 right now and she looks really good. And we were just seeing people that were in their fifties and sixties and she looked younger than them. So, you know, vitality is uh, respective or subjective. I mean, okay. So here's the uses. That's not really what I care. Oh, I did learn about this one. That was interesting. Um, <clears throat> but proper doses for young ones. Okay. This is the dose over here. Like they tell you specifically. All right. Now, really what I wanted to see is the adverse events or the contraindications. So if you have a history of asthma or urticaria because you are sensitive to aspirin or other NSAIDs, mm, got to be careful there, right? If you have a bleeding condition, if th this means if you have low platelets, if you have any kind of thrombocytopenia, coagulation issues where your blood is just naturally thin, you know, you bump yourself and you start bleeding, uh, taking NSAIDs are not a good option for you. If you have heart disease, so again, going back to the risk of, of having a stroke or throwing a blood clot. Okay, so this is talking about a different, different drug primarily, but again, here's the GI effects. So people that have chronic heartburn, most, most of the time there is some association with abuse of NSAIDs. And NSAIDs, like ibuprofen, should be used every once in a while. My husband uses them every once in a while. I can't handle taking this little tiny blue gel capsule and putting it in my mouth because of the serious issues I had with my stomach for years after abusing NSAIDs. Okay. Here's some other things. One thing I didn't know was um, it can potentially worsen if you have high blood pressure. Interesting. So again, we're seeing as symptoms of heart issues and um, gut issues with abuse of NSAIDs. Okay. So kidney issues. So dehydration. See, you have a headache. Correct dehydration before initiating ibuprofen therapy because it is less stressful on your kidneys. Kidneys do not get enough attention. I talk about the liver a whole heck of a lot, but the kidneys are definitely our good friends as well. All right. So that's basically what I wanted to just show you guys is that there, there, there is a black box warning on ibuprofen for cardiovascular events and GI bleeding events. So please be mindful about the use that you use, the use of ibuprofen that you have in your house. The bottle that we have in our house has lasted us, I don't know, years, maybe five years now at this point. Like we shouldn't be using ibuprofen as like the thing that we take every day, all day long then that is saying, hey, there's something else going on that's causing this inflammation, that's causing this joint pain, causing this headaches. We need to do further investigation to get to the root cause.